What's up? In yesterday's video, I was talking all about the Cyber Monday specials. So if you didn't get to see that and you have a GTR, go back and watch it. It's got a lot of cool stuff for you. Or if you want to learn about sequential LEDs, same thing. That is the message for you guys. On today's video, what I'm going to do is show you the whole walkthrough of getting a set of lights that look exactly like that. 2015 and up WRX headlights. We're gonna put together a custom invoice to make them a completely new setup. The only thing that's gonna be original is gonna be the bucket itself, like the lens and the bucket. All the internals will be changed up. We're gonna do sequential C lights. We're gonna do a cool RGB gill on the high beam section and then even change that projector out to be by Xenon. It's gonna be a big giant crazy invoice and I want you to know what it looks like when a builder like me puts together a custom invoice, the time that it takes when the customer's looking at all these numbers and making their final decision before there's any guarantee of money in it for this guy. I've looked up a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the cost of the actual headlights, the cost of the brackets that are gonna come from custom brackets and designs, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff from companies like Lightworks. We're gonna do the Byzenon G5 projectors, and that means that we're gonna need an HID kit all sorts of stuff. The guy's car currently comes with LED headlights and so we have to change all that stuff up. So I want this to be one package that he understands is gonna work seamlessly. It's gonna have to have a custom wire harness, so many different parts. So I have to put all that stuff in PayPal for him, itemize it, and then he's gonna sit there and pick and say, oh, that's, that's too much money. So then if that's what he says, he's gonna have to go line by line and start being like, hmm, I don't think I wanna do the Bluetooth controller cause that'll save me 50 bucks. And then I'm gonna be like, yeah, but then you're not gonna be able to control your color changing. And he's gonna be like, hmm, you're right. Well, uh, then we might have to not do the projector upgrade. And I'm gonna be like, cool, but then you're not gonna have high beams. And he's gonna be like, hmm, well, can we just do all of it but get it for less money? And I'm gonna be like, no, you can do less of it for less money or add all of it and it'll cost more money. It's just math, like Legos, you know what I mean? Just add them up and count them, right? That's what we're doing right now. I have no idea how it's gonna go. Let's find out. 11.54 right now. Let's see how long this takes. All right, so the first thing on here is gonna be the black WRX Depot lights. And let's see if I can pull those up on, I know it says, when I look on my pricing, it says that retail is $330. I'm not even gonna worry about what retail is because what matters when you're making a quote is what the customer can also buy them for. So if you're gonna supply everything and make it seem like you're doing them a big favor, you really can't price things what they should be. You gotta price them based on getting the sale, which, you know, this is, this is just realistic advice here. If you're trying to quote people out, I mean, I'm looking, 320 bucks for this set of lights, my wholesale cost is less than that, but my wholesale cost is not much better than what I'm probably gonna be able to find them for on eBay. So let's do a quick eBay search. We're gonna say black WRX headlights. Let's see what pops up. You also gotta make sure that they're the right ones. So I've got some cheap ones, some aftermarket guys for 400 bucks. Let's say, let's change this up. We're gonna say black Depot, D-E-P-O, WRX headlights. What pops up? We've got the new switchback version that's 500 bucks. So I know retail on those is 600, so that gives you kind of an idea. Um, keep scrolling down. Another set of switchbacks for 526. So somebody's already being a whore and selling stuff for way cheaper. Um, all right. 2016 WRX OEM Depot headlights driver passenger read it says 350 bucks plus shipping. That's kind of a starting point for us. I mean, if everybody sold at retail or they call it minimum ad price or map pricing, that means that like you can give a better discount if you want, but you can't list them on your website or on eBay or anything like that below a certain amount. And that's generally about 10% off retail. So let's say that the lights are you know, normally 330 bucks, 10% of that's 33 bucks, which means you're at 297 if you wanna stay within map pricing. And if people dip underneath that 297, then the manufacturer is supposed to cut their account. It doesn't happen. You know, the manufacturer wants to make money and usually his cousin is the one doing it. I hate to say it, that's just how pricing works with online sales. 
there's always the guy with the hookup that's being a biggest whore. Everyone else gets mad at him. And um, so, yeah, don't be a whore. It's never a good thing. Although I will say this, the guy that has these the cheapest, the whore in this case, has the best picture. He actually has a picture of the vehicle in on the ad, as you can see here. So, super weird. Do you realize how much time I'm spending doing this right now? This is so stupid. I'm just gonna change that from Black Depot headlights to Depot WRX headlights. I'll even change it to 2015. It's not getting too much better. All right, well here we have one light. It says passenger side for 150. That's dumb. Uh, same thing. All right, so we're at like 300 bucks. In this case, what it looks like is I'm going to price these things at 300 bucks. Right on. Works for me. I'm sure that's actually a better deal for the guy too. So next step, we add line two. Okay, so we've got our invoice started. I am now on Lightworks website, so I'm gonna add a few different things to my shopping cart, starting with the G5 projectors. So I'm gonna go to components, scroll down to HID projectors, and now I'm gonna look for the G5, G5 BRT. I don't know what BRT stands for. No, I also don't really care. So I'm gonna add this to my cart. 97.50 marked down from 130. Gotta love that Black Friday pricing. Now if my dude buys today, he's gonna to get Black Friday pricing. If he doesn't buy today, then he's gonna get whatever the current regular pricing would be because that would be his alternative. I think he should buy today. He's gonna to save a lot of money. Good looking out Lightworks for awesome Black Friday retail prices. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually use the pricing from today 9750 but I know that they normally be 130 so in my invoice here I have it listed as 130 bucks and I'm gonna put down here in the description 9750 Black Friday and then I'll change that later but I want to add up all the Black Friday discounts and put a discount at the bottom because if he doesn't buy today I don't wanna have to go through and change all the pricing I can just I don't know erase the descriptions or something like that Anyway, let's move on. I have added in the cost of the brackets for those G5 projectors, 55 bucks. If we go over here on my dude's website, CBND, so he's got all the different brackets for tons of different cars. I'm gonna click on shop, scroll back down to Subaru, and then we see that he has the brackets that are for the Mini D2S 4.0, as well as the G5. And he's got multiple different types of brackets. You want to make sure that you get the correct ones. So he's got Mini H1. He's got, let's see, wow, Mini 3.0 D2S. That's crazy. He's got a lot of cool stuff on here. It does say the WRX STI. So I want to make sure, yeah, that's exactly what I have. All right. And now we've got it in the invoice. So we're working our way through. Now the next step that we're gonna need is, I know that, I know that Jay from Sinister, let's see if we could find something really quick. SinisterRetroWorks.com, ooh, and look at that front and center. Right when you go to his website, you see those sick gills right there. I love that. Um, let's see what he's got in place to pop up. Jay, good job, bro. Your site's on point. Looks pretty. I bet you it looks dope on the phone. All right. Um, so these are just basically a lot of really cool pictures of everything. Now, I don't know if it's going to show. It's a gallery. I don't know if he's going to have pricing here for his parts, but we can definitely check it out. One other thing that I can do is find out, hey, Jay, what do you charge for these things? normally charge for the five gills. To the video. On your website. Which looks dope by the way. Word. Okay. Um we're gonna say WRX, uh, I'm even going to say 2015, 
through 2018 WRX headlight high beam acrylic oops acrylic insert five gills boom all right I don't know what that costs normally next step we have black headlights new projectors new brackets for those projectors new high beam insert oh you know what we don't have in here yet we don't have my HID system we're gonna need a single xenon HID kit from Lightworks we're gonna add in a D2S from Hilux so we're gonna do the two what's this thing called 2A88 on special for Black Friday 9750 as well 35 watt ballasts we're gonna go with the D2S size bulb in 5500k which is an extra 20 bucks that's 11750 harness no harness required because we're gonna make this thing full custom buddy and then anti flicker I don't know I don't even know what's up with anti flicker so that's already built into the Hilux add that to the cart and I'm gonna add it in our invoice here so um, let's do this say Hilux what the heck is that thing called again let's just do this I'm going to copy that put it there just in case I had any weird metadata in there that was going to link out that's what we got D2S 5500 K and that is 11750 do you see how long this is taking I do not want to trim this down I need you to see it I need you to be here with me I need you to understand what this is sick normally we charge 400 for the delete with the RGB strip all right I'm gonna do that sweet so um, <laughs> I'm an idiot so I didn't add any of the Bluetooth controller the Bluetooth strip the labor anything I just added the part on here so I'm gonna go ahead and just update that with everything to Jay's pricing as he said so that's gonna be RGB strip um, controller Bluetooth controller actually saves me a good bit of time doing all this I'm gonna add in some angel eyes after this Bluetooth controller um, wire harness and I think that's it let's see if Jay added anything to that they are thick got it Wow Jay's already made one of them he made it for me like on the fly we don't even know if this guy's gonna do it yet he already made it doesn't he's gonna ship these things to me anyway not thin little sheets you're the man. Jay's dope. All right, back to the invoice. You know we're still going, right? It's crazy. All right, so we got that four, four hundo. Um, we haven't added any other labor yet. This is nuts. Oh, boy. All right, next step on this journey. Just guaranteeing 1750 word. Okay, now we're going to add the angel eyes. The angel eyes for the WRX are going to be the 80 millimeter. And that's going to be from Profile Prism. And actually, we can even check that out straight up here on my boy Caesar's website. Let's see, let's see. Components. We're going to look for LED lighting. Demon eyes. I like this LED lighting. I might have to change my net. I have to jack Caesar's wisdom here. Starting at 45 bucks, let's choose 80 mil, and that gives us. The sale price of fifty-four dollars and seventy-five cents. Word, that is dope. Down from seventy-three, so we're gonna say fifty-four seventy-five. Down here, fifty-four seventy-five. Black Friday, and continue. Okay. Now we've got the modified technologies part. So let's go ahead and look up get modified. Dot co 
Booyah. And I'm going to say Shop Subaru. Go down to. Alright, so his system is 380 bucks. Those $379.99. I do want to note, I do not install them that way. I install them differently. So let's see if he has the option for just LED boards only. What a gangster, he's got it. Here we go, $199.99. That is what is going in our thing. Oh, let's say WRX, sequential headlight C bar. That is $199.99. None Black Friday love. There's just not. So I have still yet to even include the cost in my quote here. Oh man. Well, what happened was my memory card maxed out. So let me open up that PayPal thing again. That sucks. I mean, this video is already like over 10 gigs of just me recording me quoting somebody. And I mean, I'm at. Let's see, when do we start? I'm at over an hour of sitting here still. So, granted, I will admit that some of that is file transfer and crap that has nothing to do with this video. I'm just trying to keep it real, all right? Let's go to invoicing. And we're gonna revisit this. So currently we are at $1,275, that includes sequential C-bars, profile prism rings, the Hilux ballast, the acrylic insert with the Bluetooth controller integrated. Oh, and I found out that that actually doesn't include the Bluetooth controller. RGB backlighting, integrated wire harness, cool. So that's what Jay was telling me all about. Uh, we got the brackets, we got the projectors, we got the headlights. So like I said, that brings us to 1275. We're gonna now add in the ghost sequencers because those aren't even in there. Boom, 300 bucks more. All right, this is very important right here. $1,575. We're talking parts. Only like a tiny little thing of that, the gills, included labor. And that did significantly bump up this price, which means my dude might not want to do it specifically because the cost of doing those gills, which are crazy custom, nobody has them. They're like handmade awesomeness from two different people. I mean, like that's just not supposed to be cheap, right? But here's the big mistake that builders make. They'll see this $1,575 and they're gonna now make the decision for the customer that that's too expensive. So they're gonna squeeze in their labor, barely. We're talking a full projector retrofit, opening and resealing the housings. If there's any custom paint or anything like that that's gonna need to be done, like so much hinges on this this install being perfect and just going like without any hiccups, which doesn't happen. That's not real. You're not gonna do this full giant build that's gonna be a couple thousand dollars, like perfectly easy. It's gonna be hard. I mean, we've got sequential stuff, we got ghost modules, we've got RGB, we've got a full custom wire harness that's gonna have to have all the individually pinned connections so that everything's just like easy to unplug. I don't build lights stupid. I don't wanna have like 18 plugs on the back of this light. They're gonna be dope. They're gonna be damn expensive. And I'm not gonna cut myself short on this. There's two things that are gonna happen next. One of them is the guy's gonna be a gangster and he's just gonna be like, boom, handle it, pay it. His cost of doing OEM lights would've been two grand anyway. So I'm thinking about that as a builder, that before I even send this thing off, his starting point is 2K for what he had. Nothing special, $2,000, that's what it would cost him. That's what insurance is gonna write a check for. That's what he has in hand waving it at me, whether or not it's custom or not. So that really does bring my conscience way down a notch that I'm not asking too much to say that at $1,575 for parts, I'm not even getting paid yet. This is That's not even money that's going to me. It's gonna be a slight discount because it's Black Friday. If he does it right away, maybe that'll save him 100 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever. It, that's, that's not important. What's important next is the cost of doing your custom work. So we have sequential work, 
boom, that's money signs. Not because, oh, I'm gonna make tons of money, because of time, it's gonna take forever individually wiring all of those connections to the C-bar, then testing, then making sure that the program's dialed and set. All of these things are gonna be extra. We put 200 bucks for the cost of the C-bars. That is just raw boards. That is no wires, no sequencer, no nothing. Then we've got the cost of the sequencers. Two sequencers, not just one like would originally have been included with the full kit from Modified Technologies. That's like a $380 kit. This is $200 for the parts from them and then $300 for the ghost modules, two of them, not one, and then those are individually wired up and they're gonna to go to an individual connection at a wire harness. It's also gonna have connections for the RGB color changing gills, angel eyes, it's gonna have a bunch of stuff. That was actually confusing to try to say what the wire harness was because I haven't even itemized it yet. That's still coming. So let's dive into the labor and scare ourselves a bit because it is scary when you quote people because you worry, what if they run away? What if after all of this time, all the thought I was dealing with them Sunday night, I was answering DMs on Instagram. Then this morning, now this, and I'm going through the day. Here's the great thing. If this turns into nothing, what's gonna happen? Parts are gonna show up from Jay because he already made them for us because he's dope. We already reached out and showed you guys the stuff to plug two different companies aside from Jay's, which is CBND as well as Lightworks. That's great, I feel good about that. I'm gonna give you a promo code for Lightworks as well. Save you some money if you buy stuff from Caesar, just because you watched this whole long freaking episode and you're getting to kind of see behind the curtain here. And last but not least, you got to learn what that looks like. If you're a consumer and you're just watching this and thinking like, wow, I didn't realize they did all that. I thought that it was just like, one, two, three, four, and then they send the quote and it's done. No, I'm like way more than two hours into this whole thing, thought-wise. My brain has been wrapped in this. I'm not building things, I'm not working on GTR lights, so if I'm worth 100 bucks an hour, I'm invested $200 into this, whether it's gonna make me a penny or not. So, yeah, good thing I'm making a video, right? <laughs> I win either way, because I'm delivering valuable content to you. Let's continue. Regardless of what happens here, if this guy does or doesn't do this, I already made the video, that's awesome. And then the other thing is that we don't even know if he's gonna pay or not. I'm not even gonna tell you today. Even if he hits me back in just a bit and is like, cool, done, paid, got it. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you on day four of Vlogmas, because I'm vlogging every day this month up to Christmas. So I'm excited because of the content, what I get to deliver, and I'm realizing like, whoa, I get to do this way different. I don't care if this is a 30 minute episode, like that's just what it's gonna be because I'm yapping a bunch and showing you what this all looks like and I'm making this video and I have to edit and post a video in the next two hours for day two of Vlogmas. So if I seem busy this month, you know why. All right, let's dive back in. I am going to add some things here, specifically a custom wire harness. Now, when I make a custom wire harness, I include the cost, custom wire harness the cost of sitting there crimping all this stuff up it's not going to take me an hour it's going to cost me two hours and even right now i'm being a dummy and i want to i want man god this is going to suck guys i want to price it at 150 bucks but i'm not i'm trying to be a good guy I'm trying to teach you the right way this is a gnarly harness god what's it supposed to be I really want to price it at 200 bucks, but I'm not. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm going to price it at 150 bucks. Don't be me. God, don't be me. 150 bucks. Jeez. Super dumb. This is going to include. No, I'm going to say 200 bucks because we got to include the cost of the Bluetooth controller. Two hundo. It should be two fifty. I'm dumb. Custom wire harness. Bluetooth control via XK Chrome Mini. Wired with four button remote control. That should also be an additional. We, we're at two eighty on this harness so far, and, I, and I've got it at two hundred. I'm I'm a fool. Four button. Remote control. And all connections for RGB and sequential. Sh 
show modes plus power to sequencers, power and ground actually, with a 12 pin connector. 12 pin connector. This is definitely 250 bucks. I just realized we're tying in the HID harness. I can't price it 130 bucks cheaper. That's just ridiculous. Wow, 250 bucks for a wire harness, and that's still underpriced. <laughs> Crazy. Who that? Because he's gonna see this and be like, "Whoa, I didn't know it was gonna be that." I'm gonna be like, "I know you didn't know, but now you know. Now you know." Dude, he thinks he thinks he's gonna do it. I'm, dude. I hope. I would love if he did that. That would make this so valuable because it would show that all of this effort turns into something. I really don't want to deliver this and then come through on day four and be like, uh, yeah, he didn't do it and that was a big waste. Now you get to see why this industry sucks balls sometimes. All right, HID connections. Wow, that was crazy. All right, guess how much I charge to do sequential and base labor. Base labor is going to include, and there's a retrofit, my God. One year warranty, 450 bucks. It's 200 for the open and reseal, 250 for the retro, 450 bucks. It's so funny, even right there, I'm just guessing in my head, oh, that's too much. Okay, now I'm going to do, um, Sequential C bar mounting, wiring, and programming, which is 500 bucks. That makes the total cost of the C sequential C bar, including labor, ghost modules, all of that good stuff, total of a thousand bucks. It's kind of funny because all of these things don't really matter if the guy's not gonna buy it. If he's gonna buy it, cool. If he's gonna look at this and chop some of these things down, that makes sense to me. That's reasonable. This is a lot of stuff. This is not unreasonable pricing. It is for me, like I should be pricing this higher, but I also want my dude to be able to get some amazing lights. Let's see where we're at, 2775. He's basically spending $775 more than he needs to. He needs to spend 2000 anyway. Yo, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, we're now gonna factor in our Black Friday special. 8325 Black Friday special. 8325 Black Friday. It's Friday. You ain't got no job. And then shipping, I don't know until shipping will be the Determined at the time the headlights are completed. All right, we're at like three grand. These are $3,000 headlights. I mean, these are easily $3,000 headlights. Woo! Ready? We're gonna send it. Let's send it. Here we go. Ready to send it? Make sure everything looks good. My God. God, man. My God, man. Here we go. Sent it. All right, boys and girls, stay tuned. You don't want to miss the next episode when we find out what happens if my guy pulls the trigger, if we make adjustments, if whatever, you will find out on day four of Vlogmas here at Fly Ride. Love you guys. Adios. See you next time. Oh,